Welcome to TMMI's video presentation. Today we'll be looking at the IGS driver setup and the Discover and Auto Configure tool. Our objectives today will be to add the IGS driver to the SCU, correctly configure the IGS driver for communication to Control Logics hardware, use the Discover and Auto Configure tool to build tags in the database using that IGS driver connection. <clears throat> Our assumptions are that the IGS driver has already been installed with the Allen Bradley protocol suite selected and Ethernet connectivity to the controller has been established. We'll start by simply going into our system configuration utility and making sure the IGS driver is listed. That's done under the SCADA configuration. If your IO driver is not listed in here, choose your IO driver name from the list and simply click Add. Once that change has been made, a restart to the iFix uh, system must be done. Now we'll take a look at our IGS configuration. I have a blank IGS configuration. If you want to create a blank one, go under File and New. We'll add our channel. This is our communication path to our PLC network. I'm going to call mine CLX Network. <clears throat> I'll be using the Allen Bradley Control Logic Ethernet driver. I have several drivers listed, but this is the one that we will be using. The network adapter I'll be using is my hardwired network adapter. There's some default settings um, that we'll just take the next, next, and finish for those default settings. <clears throat> next, we want to add our device. I'll call mine CLX PLC. It is a Control Logic 5500. There are other options for you based on the hardware you're using. We are using Control Logic 5500. This will be my device ID, that is the IP address <clears throat> with the um, network adapter and CPU slot. So mine is 192.168.0.11, comma 1, comma 0. Next. Here we can set the scan mode for this device. If we respect the client specified scan rate, it will use the scan time for each tag in the iFix database to request the data. Or we have the option to come here and maybe set this to not request data any faster than 1,000 milliseconds. By doing this, we're kind of controlling the rate at which this one device will work. And we can do this per device or per tag. So I'll leave mine at uh, 1,000 milliseconds <clears throat> for this device. Again, some default settings for device timing, uh, auto, demoting, auto demoting the device, etc. So we'll go through all those default settings and hit finish. Now I've established my network path to my PLC and a specific PLC device. We want to populate this with information from the PLC, so we're going to right click and go to properties. Here I can redo the settings that were done when we were hitting all the next buttons, but I'm going to go to database creation and I'm going to tell it to auto create. It's actually communicating with that PLC and pulling back the tag names and programs in that PLC. I can see that it's completed, so we'll hit close, and I'll expand this out. <clears throat> These are the tags that have been built inside of my Control Logics PLC and programs that are in there also. If I'd like to quickly see those values and see that I do have a connection established, we'll use the IGS Quick Client. I'll expand down into globals and here are my tag names that are already configured inside of my PLC. We have T100 level and T200 level. These are two main ones for us. So I can see those values are coming in. All right. So we're going to close that quick client tool down. We're not going to save those changes. Just a quick view into our process. So I'm done with this. I'm going to save this. I'll say File, Save As. This is SCADA 1, so I'm going to say this is my SCADA 1 file. 
So we have our IGS driver completed. I could go into the IFIX database and manually add tags for each one of these I.O. addresses. But instead of having to manually add the tags in my IFIX database, you see I have an empty IFIX database here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the tool to automatically build my IFIX database. <clears throat> so I'll close out of the IGS driver and we're going to go and launch the workspace. And in the workspace in our system tree, under IO drivers, there's the discover and config tool. We're going to go ahead and launch that. We'll hit next. We're going to use the IGS driver discovery agent as our agent to provide us information from our PLC. I could have exported out an L5K file from my RS logics, but instead of doing that, we're just going to browse the current PLC. So I'm going to use the IGS driver to reach into the PLC and browse the current tags in there. Hit next and finish. Now this has established a connection through the IGS driver into that CLX network and that CLX PLC. Under there, I have globals. Remember the tags that we saw inside the IGS driver? Well, those are now available to me here. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll use this as a configuration tool to move tags from the IGS configuration into our IFIX database. We do that by simply clicking on tags listed here and we'll use the wizard to bring that information over. I'll click IFIX all wizards see that currently it's going to bring the tag name over just like this CLX P100 reset and CLX P100 status. I could add a prefix to it or a suffix to that tag name when it brings it over. If there were illegal characters here like slashes, question marks, I could change those to underscores. If it was longer than 30 characters I would have to truncate it and I could either grab the first 30 characters or the last 30 characters. <coughs> and illegal first character substitution if this started with a number or a pound sign anything other than the letter basically uh, we would replace that with a letter the letter A and I could also prefix the description when it moves over a description we'll hit next here I did select two boolean tags so I will choose that those are going to be digital input tags and I'm going to process them at a one second scan time. Hit next. We are going to use the IGS driver. <clears throat> this tells me what PLC it's going to connect to. And finally what all it's going to do. We hit finish. And we see that this is how it's going to prepare it. It's going to bring over a tag CLX P100 reset. CLX P100 status. Here's the IO address that it's using for those devices. I do know that reset should be a digital output tag because that one is actually control so I'm going to send values out. I can modify this line here before it's actually imported into the IFIX database. Give it a description P100 reset and P100 status. I also may want to move over some uh, analog tags so we'll choose CLX 100, 200 and speed. We'll do in tests also. So I've got four tags here that I'm bringing in. Four more tags. We'll use the wizard one more time. Again, I can put a prefix in front of them, suffix after them, replace illegal characters with underscores, give them a prefix description. <clears throat> Next, we'll choose analog alarm here. So maybe these are analog tags coming in. Default them to one second using the IGS driver, the PLC we're connecting to, and finally finish. So create analog alarm tags. Again, descriptions might be nice things to add while you're sitting in here. T100 level, T200 level. Okay. Uh, I may want to historically collect these. I may want to bring these three in and automatically historically collect them. So I can come under view, go to target column settings, go to current project, 
and I can see iFix settings. One of those is collect. That added collect to this list over here. So now if I go in here and put a one by collect, I will automatically be historically collecting these tags. I'll be setting that setting inside the iFix database. We'll see that in a second. So you can add whatever columns you'd like to manipulate from here. Once I've got what I want them to be called, what types of tags they are, whatever descriptions I want to add, the driver and IO address is correct, and whatever other columns I may want to add, <coughs> I'll put check marks by all of them that I want to come in. I'll click the Add to iFix button. Are you sure you want to add these rows to iFix? Hit Yes, and it's done. We'll look at our database manager. Okay, these tags are automatically off scan when they're brought in. So we'll put those on scan. I'll refresh them. And here are my values coming back. I'm refreshing the database by hitting Control R, and these are the values that are coming from that PLC. Okay, I noticed the mistake. Uh, this T100 and 200 levels. Those are supposed to be 0 to 500. Maybe those are supposed to be 0 to 500. It would be very quick for me to just change the values in here and type in 500. But if this was 100 different addresses that were brought in, I might want to go back to my Discover tool. Go ahead and close this down really quickly and save it. Let me go back to my Discover tool. And I'm going to make a quick change here. I'm going to add low and high engineering units here. We'll go to View, Target Column Settings, Current Project. We'll add Low and High Engineering Units. And then we'll do a Modify. Make sure that I added it to the correct one. So I got CLX 200 and 100. <coughs> and I'll do a 0 to 500. 0 to 500. All right. If I click on Add to iFix, I'm actually going to get an error message. It tells me tag creation failed. It's because they already existed. But if I click on Modify, if I click on Modify, it'll go out and will modify those, ta modify those tags in the iFix database. So we can go out here and see that those are now set to 0 to 500. 0 to 500. I do see a mistake I made when I was turning on collect. I should have put in the word yes instead of a 1. So I'm going to go back out here. And we're going to change collect to the word yes. 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 <coughs> I'll make sure I have all of those selected. And we'll do a modify again. out here and refresh the database and we can see these tags now have yeses inside of them and the discover tool is okay I didn't reset this one but <coughs> that is two pieces of the IGS driver one configuring the IGS driver and two using the GE discover and auto configure tool to automatically build tags in our iFix database very simple straightforward Key things to take away from this are the ease of configuring the IGS driver to communicate with tags in a control logic PLC. Um, have the IGS driver go out and pull that information and bring it back to you. Secondly, ease of building the iFix database using the Discover and Auto Configure tool. This will automatically build the iFix database for you based on the settings you've added to that tool. Thank you for watching and contact TMMI if you need more information.